you know that in case of egypt uh, we, they have the pyramids in case of india if you go to the let's say agra agra mein kya hai hamare paas we have Hello everyone, welcome to Pluto Science. Today we are going to discuss an important topic of Indian history and current affair. You know that last month only, a week ago, one important site of Assam had been included into the UNESCO World Heritage Site. As you are aware that last year also in 2023, two sites were included and these two questions were there in the prelims examination also, right? Last year in the month of September, the two sites, one is from Karnataka, that is Hoya uh, Sala temples and one is from West Bengal, that is Santin Nikitan, one included. This year especially, the uh, one site from Assam, that is the Maidams. Maidams should not be considered to be the Maidan, that is a field in the northern India, okay. It's a Maidam, it's a type of the burial site of the home rulers, which had been included into the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So let us briefly understand about this site that what is the importance of this site and which type of questions can be asked in the UPSC prelims examination for 2025. Okay. So we, we, uh, before we discuss about the site at the Maidams in the Assam, let us discuss that who are our homes and how did they came to India. You know that we have a very blank history of Assam in the ancient time. We have one example of Assam ruler was a Vaskar Barban. He was a very contemporary of Harshwadhan, okay, and he was from the Kamrupa dynasty. So these people, especially Ahom, came to in this land, especially in the 13th century, from the China via Myanmar to India. We have the known rulers called C. Q. Fa. Right? C. Q. Fa is the one who came to India with about 9,000 people. He fought of about 13 years in India and finally he settled down into this region. These Ahom people who came from this China and Myanmar, they settled down into the western part of Assam and they had a huge clash with the local people of Assam at that time in the 13th century. Who were these local people? Local people were the Kam Rupa people. So they had a conflict with them. So this person came, what is the person name? Sukafa came from the China region, especially from the Mon Mao and he settled down into this region. By 1228, they conquered the tribes and finally ended the war and they settled down here. This is what we know about these people. <laughs> Especially, we have the Charai Dio. The city called is the Charai Dio is an important city which is situated on the border of the Assam and Arunachal Pradesh right now. This is a site and here we have the Arunachal Pradesh and then other states are there. So this Charai Dio was the ancient capital, the early medieval capital of the Ahoms people at this site only. We have the burial sites are present. You know that in case of Egypt, uh, we, they have the pyramids in case of India. If you go to the, let's say Agra, Agra mein kya hai hamare paas? We have Taj Mahal of Mumtaj Mahal and Sajha in Delhi. We have the uh, tomb of Humayu and all. Then Sikandrabad, we have a tomb of Akbar. In the same way, these Ahom rulers used to make tomb for themselves, the burial site, okay, as the burial sites were known by the home people as a Madoms. This is a great example of the Madom that is made by them. Let us discuss in detail. This is what called Moedams or it is also known as a Madams. This is a burial site of a home people. So, so what is the meaning of Madoms? Madoms are basically associated with the home ancestor worship and the festival known as a Medo Mehipi. This is a festival that is celebrated by the Ahoms people and these are the major examples of the burial site of the Ahom kings and other people. Especially in the 2023, our Prime Minister Modi chose this Maidom for a UNESCO nomination as the World Heritage Site in Delhi and finally the site was formally uh, recognized as the World Heritage Site in the 46th session of the UNESCO meeting. Which session? 46th session of the UNESCO meeting. This is what we know. Right now, we have about 386 madoms are available and explored so far out of home, 19 madoms are the royal burials. This is the most important example. So these are the examples of the madoms that is available from the city that called Charyodio. So we have madoms of Charyodio had been de defined as the UNESCO World Heritage Site. These are the further details of the, this one. These are the Thai home people who had created madoms of the hills, in the forest area and the water. So what is there in this Madoms, we have an example of natural topography of hills, forest, water and the forming a sacred geography also. 
there is a huge banyan trees and the trees used for coffins and bark manuscripts were planted and the water bodies were created here it was believed that these sites used to have some of the basic materials of the life whatever needed in the life these sites were also present in this site so some basic basic necessity of the life along with the some trees water and the domes had been created at this point so this is a very important site called maidoms which are included into the unesco world heritage site this is an example of the sadhuba puthari where preserved body of the deceased king would be washed before entering into the maidom this is example we know this is a great example of the maidom sites we came to know about these people apart from it very interesting fact that can be there in the examination related to the ahom mughal conflict so what was the ahom mughal conflict let us briefly understand on which questions can also ask me in the examination so you know that by 13th century thai people migrated to brahmaputra valley and established ahom kingdom by 16th century they had expanded their territory by absorbing the neighboring kingdom especially the avarthuri in the tamrupa ahom relationship with the mughal was very much hostile due to the mughal alliances with the ahom enemies and their advance in the northeast india so ahom mughal conflict refers to a series of seventeenth century conflict between these two power it began soon after the eastern branch of the tamath kingdom then under the koch dynasty koch hajo collapsed after a sustained mughal campaign bringing it face to face with ancestor ahoms and most important battle we find is the battle of itakuli in this battle of itakuli mughals were finally ousted from the state of assam especially in the 1682 so let us discuss that what is the major key events in the ahom mughal conflict in the 17th 18th 17th century initial aggression happened between 1616 to 1636 when jahangir and shahjah was the ruler in that time there is a very famous treaty of asur ali was signed in the 1639 that acknowledged the mughal control over the western assam the ahom resistance are fine especially the ahom king jay dowat sinna expelled mughals from guwahati in 1648 mir jumla invasion of assam in the 1662 led to the treaty of the gilghar jihad in the 1663 that established the mughal control over some parts of the assam finally renewal conflict happened in 1667 to 71 where the ahom recaptured guwahati in 1667 under the chatradwaj singh raja ram singh first invasion of assam in 1669 further lead to the battle and finally what happened we have the lalut burthuran that is called lachita burthuran conspiracy with the mughals in 1699 and finally the gandadhar singh expulsion of the mughals from guwahati in 1682 happened in this one in this one battle of itakuli is a very important point and battle of sarai gate as the very important so battle of sarai ghat in the 1660 1671 is the very important battle in which mughals were defeated okay this is what we know about the mughals and the uh, ahom conflict so question can be asked on this topic also as well okay so let us discuss some of the questions i have prepared that may be related to uh, uh, this topic and that may be asked in the examination also as well okay so this question is related to <coughs> the mughal and uh, ahom conflict question is consider the following statement regarding lachit burkhuran of the ahom kingdom lachit burkhuran led successful campaign against the mughals during the reign of shah jahan and jahangir see Sajha and Jahangir are a very old person, but this person is especially known for the Battle of Sarai Ghat in the 1671. So this statement will be false. Okay, that he is the one who fought the Battle of Sarai Ghat in the 1671. So that the first option Jahangir will not be correct. So this is a false statement. Next question is Battle of Sarai Ghat 1671, which was largely a naval war, saw a home forces under Lachit Burkharan defeat the larger Mughal army. this statement is true so answer of this question will be b here is a detailed explanation of this answer so if you want you can read this so stop the video pause the video and you can read the detailed explanation also of this question okay next question is there it is also related to the ahom and mughal fight consider the following statement regarding the 
मुगल अहम कन्फ्लिक ट्रीटी अफ असुर अली इन सिक्सटीन थार्टी नाइन एथ नलेज द मुगल कंट्रोल ओवर द वेस्टर्न असम मीर जुमलाज इनवेजन ऑफ असम इन दिक्सटीन सिक्सटी टू लेट टू द ट्रीटी ऑफ जिल जरीघाट इन दिक्सटीन सिक्सटी थ्री अहम सिक्योर डिसिव व्यक्ति इन द बैटल ऑफ द सराई घाट इन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी वन अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ लची बुरखुरान सो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग हाउ मेनी ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट सी विल बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दैट ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट हियर इज अ डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस आंसर सो यू कैन गो थ्रू द आंसर और इस आंसर को आप एक बार देख भी सकते हो पॉज करके ओके स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन बी देयर रिलेटेड टू दी दिस चरे दुई दैट इज एंशियंट सिटी दैट इज अ मिडिबल सिटी मेड बाई अहोम्स एंड दैट सिटी हैज द ब्यूरियल साइड स्टॉल मैदोम्स द क्वेश्चन आर देयर Consider the following statement regarding the Charaidev and the Ahom Kingdom. Charaidev was established by the first Ahom king, Chao Lung Si Kufa, in 1253 AD as the first capital of Ahom Kingdom. Ahom historical chronicles are known as Buranji. It is true. Maidams of Charodai are often compared with the Egyptian pyramids and the tombs of ancient Chinese royalty. How many of the above statements are incorrect? What is your answer, student? It is asking incorrect. Let me tell you, all the statements are correct. So answer of this question will be D. That none of the statements are incorrect. Okay, student? Here is a detailed explanation of this question. You can go through and you can read it. Okay? You can understand these questions very nicely. Next question that I have prepared. <coughs> question is, consider the following statement regarding the. Frank Mia Dam, that is a Madam, and a home kingdom. The Frank Madam, the or the Madam, is a traditional tumulus of the home religion, often compared with Egyptian pyramids and tombs of ancient times. True statement. The royal Madam of Chirodai are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is true in 2024 only. The tomb tradition of the home religion is followed today by the people of the four clans: Mohun, Mo Cham. Chaudan and Moflun. This is also true as we have discussed in the previously. So all the statements are true, but the question is asking how many of the statements are incorrect. So answer will be none of the above. Here is a detailed explanation of this question. You can go through this, uh, watch the video and uh, read the detailed explanation if you want. So what we have seen, a student, that Maidoms are the very important concepts which had been included into the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Where is this Madom situated? This is situated mostly in the city of Charaidoy. It is in the west. It is in the eastern side of. It is in the eastern side of the. It is in the eastern side of the Assam. But the city name Charaidoy is a city. What do you mean by? What do you mean by this word called Madoms? Madoms are the burial site of these people. Or Charaidoy means what? What is the meaning of Charaidoy? The meaning of the Charaidoy is the. That it is a sign-in city of the hills. Sorry, the meaning of that is a sign-in city of the hills that we know, and this is the main Madom. So Madoms are the basically burial sites of the Ahom people, and especially the royal burial site of the Charodai has been defined as the UNESCO World Heritage Site in India. Okay, so this type of questions, questions may be related to burial site, questions may be related to a home ruler. Question may be related to Mughal Ahom fight. Questions may be related to Ahom Kamrupa fight. These type of similar questions can be asked in the examination assessment. Okay, so please, please try uh, to read more about the topic. I am sure that this type of questions will be there in your examination. Okay, so all right. Thank you so much. Watching the previous video. If there is any doubt, anything. You can ask me. I will be happily to reply with your comment. And then, if you want me any, if you want me to make any video on any concerned topic, you can feel free to comment here. Okay. All right, students. Thank you for watching the video at the Plutus Science Platform.